Well, hello there, folks. This is Papa G, your compost gardening CEO, is back with a wow, it's gonna freeze video. Let's protect our plants, guys. Protect our plants. I see I got a left one over there, I got to cover up. But uh, anyway, I'll get to it. That's how we do it. Let's go. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I thought that sorrowful raining around the hills and mountains. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollering around the merry street. With a rang tang tang and a team team run play ball. And through the way we would uh, run. Ah, wow, a 360. <laughs> ah, guys, it is cold. And it's going to get colder out here in these streets. In Gulfport, Mississippi is where we are. And uh, it's going to get colder, guys. It's supposed to freeze be down in the in the 20s, I guess, tonight. 20s? Yeah, I think, the, I think it's supposed to get down in the 20s, guys. And, uh, you know, Papa G, we, me and Granny D, we covered up these, these uh, plants the other day. Wow, look how good that cauliflower is looking there, guys. Look how good that's looking. I mean, they not necessarily, they looking kind of shriveled, guys. We've had uh, a couple of freezing nights. And as you can see, I, I got the uh, materials over here to get them covered, covered back up to prepare for tonight and tomorrow night. Hey, brr, brr. <laughs> well, look, 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 look at these cow cauliflowers, guys. And, and look at these broccoli plants, guys. They're blooming, they're growing, they're thriving. They're showing that they're de developing into more and more food for Paw Paw DG and Granny D. Yes, indeed, guys. They are growing because you know Papa G likes to <laughs> Look at these plants, guys. You know, I hadn't seen them in a couple of days because we had them covered up. And uh, I was just out here the other day uh, un uncovering them. And, uh, and it was so chilly, I was trying to get out of it. Get out of the chill, guys. I hope you guys have somewhere nice and warm to be, to uh, be tonight. It's, 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 it's rough weather all over the place, guys. Rough weather's all, all over the place here in the United States. If you're not in the United States, if you're from over in another country somewhere, it's rough over here in the United States. If you're having a lot of freezing weather over here, guys, and uh, anyway, it's kind of rough, but let's see. I'm trying to get these, I guess I'll take care of them once I decover them. But as you can see, the, the, the plants are, uh, are growing. They might have suffered some in this last freeze we had, but uh, they're still thriving here. In this compost gardening, garden guys, compost gardening is surviving freezing weather. Don't you know? Freezing weather, guys, and as you can see, as I've stated before and said before, that uh, it's not. I don't get full sunshine over here. I don't get full sun, sunshine, and so because we have this, I have this uh. Uh, popcorn tree 
<laughs> Popcorn tree, guys. Holding back the sunlight. But anyway, this kale over here is still, it's still surviving and thriving pretty well. Got to get these plants covered up again tonight, guys. Overnight, it's supposed to be get down in the 20s, I think, as I said before. But uh, anyway, anyway, guys, uh, these plants are still looking good here. And as you can see, Granny D came out and did some harvesting the other day. And uh, as you can see, he broke it off here and she kind of cropped them. These uh, these kale plants a little bit and, and uh, some of the other plants too she cropped. And brought in some some vegetables, guys. Some good vegetables, because you know. <laughs> up on the G likes it. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Uh, we going uh, I turned the camera on so you guys can kind of coach me and uh, uh, watch me uh, uh, get these plants covered up again guys because we want them to keep thriving and surviving because uh it's still a lot less left to this season that these plants can keep growing and growing and blowing and surviving and thriving but anyway guys i thought i'd turn the camera on so you guys can can watch me let's get these plants and pets plants and what they say pets people Pets, plants, pipes. Let's get them all, get them all secure, guys. Get them ready for this 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 weather that's coming through. Got another blast of cold weather, freezing weather, coming through. But uh, anyway, setting this camera up. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see what's happening here. And uh, I just thought I'd cut, turn the camera on. I was out here working before, as you can see in the front yard, I was covering up blueberry plants. Let's see, blueberries, our blueberry plants that are in the front, in the front yard. And here in the backyard, we have collards, kale. Cabbages. Uh, cauliflower plants that we grew in here, guys, in this compost garden. Y'all can see see what I had done the other day when we, was, when we did the mulching, guys. I said, I thought about it, and uh, I said, hey, why don't I just use it on the, uh, instead of putting it on the compost pile over there, you can see it over there, instead of just putting it on that, or the, all the mulch on that, I mulch up this in the backyard and, and uh, put it on and, and shot it over there. With the, with the lawn mower. Y'all guys go back and look at that, those uh, videos where it's saying, it's time. It's time. Let's get ready to rumble. Time to mulch up this, these, Sycamore tree leaves! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you gotta have some fun, guys. You gotta have some fun. I mean, growing food is, is, is serious business, but because food is important to, to us, guys. And, uh, and so, but hey, why not mix in a little fun with it? And since I've been compost gardening, guys, I've been able to have more fun, guys. <laughs> I never did make a video of me tilling <laughs> uh, because I, I really I wasn't on I wasn't a YouTuber back then when I was uh, tilling. And so, but anyway, now I'm a compost gardener, and I'm finding time to have some fun, guys, because it's not as it's not as serious as tilling <laughs> it's not as serious guys it's tilling and uh 
Anyway, <laughs> let's get these plants covered, guys. Let's get them covered. <sighs> Here we go. Let's see. I think I'll, I'll start this one on these cabbages and kale and, and broccoli and and uh plants here because because this this is a sheet this is a regular sheet and so i figured having a sheet you know on this on this on this uh something that's thin on these uh plants that are sticking up i figured hey that may be the best way to go don't you know may be the best way to go to have something thin as long as it hopefully it'll keep the frost off the plant because that's the that's the total intention is to uh, be able to keep the frost off of them that's coming through let's breathe guys let's protect these plants because these these plants are food <laughs> and as you know Already, you guys that's been with Popo G. Popo G. Yes, indeed. Popo G. Yes, guys, let's get them covered. Let's get them covered, guys. Get this food protected. Get this food protected. So, like I said, the season is still young as far as growing these types of plants. Granny D was informing me the other day that the kale, the way we understand it, is it can keep growing, kale can keep growing all the way through freezing weather. And so I guess it's not necessarily to really be covering them. But uh, hey, since I'm out here doing it, I guess I will go ahead and cover them. And so, as you can see over here, I got the kill covered. Got the kill covered over there, too. But uh, yeah, let's see there. what else we can do. Another sheet here. But yeah. We're going to get them covered. Covered real good, guys. Very well. Very well. See how windy it is? See all this wind, guys? It's a good thing Popo G weighs enough. Because, hey, this kind of looks like it. This might be kind of trying to pick Popo G up. 
<laughs> but anyway, guys, let's get them covered. Real, real good. Let's protect the food, guys, and let them keep keep growing and going. Because this season, as I said before, this season is still pretty young yet. And so you can, you can imagine that uh, Popo G want to keep it so they can keep growing. Put this block of wood on two of them now. You're supposed to freeze, guys. I hope you're preparing wherever you are if you're here in the United States. Or Canada. Uh, it's in Canada, well, it's, it's already. That's what that's what's going down this way is the uh that are uh, freezing weather out of Canada. So wind is blowing from this way, get something on that, that way, let's see, let me get another piece of wood, another hunk of wood over here, This looks like a good piece. Nice piece of wood, guys. To uh, keep the to keep the plants covered, guys. Just keep them covered. Cover call. Need a ball. Pretty good to me, yeah. Put it in the comments what you think. Put it in the comment section what you think about this cover. Yeah, 
think of going anywhere myself. Covered pretty well. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to turn the camera on today and uh, let you guys see if, you know, the, me finishing covering. Because I had covered that in the front yard and uh, for the most part before I turned the camera on. But uh, anyway, it's looking good to me, guys. What you guys say? Looking good to me. I don't think it's going anywhere. I think that's a good idea there to uh, cover the, the heavy cover the uh, taller plants with the uh, with the thin sheets. Hopefully, it'll be enough to keep them from freezing. Uh, I think it'll keep the ice off of them directly, and so it should be. They should be fine. I'm thinking, guys. If you guys know, I'm not a professional gardener as far as having been raised in a family of farmers or gardeners or whatever. My mom, my mother did. She did do some gardening at every place we we uh lived she she did gardening hey to help help feed us help keep some some good food in these long legs <laughs> you know and uh and my, my siblings and all my mom she was a hard worker and uh she uh did what it took to raise us, us the rest of the way by ourselves by herself all the way from, I think it was from about 1962 or so, when my, my dad passed. He, he passed, you know, at the age of 51. Some of you guys may have heard this story before, but he passed at the age of 51 years old. And uh, my mom, she was, she was pretty, uh, still pretty young real young compared you know to what the age I am now I'm 67 and uh she she was real young you know because because I think I was born when she was about 39 or 40 or something like that and uh and so she raised us all the way up you know from there my mom used to hit me about right now about right here or somewhere <laughs> but uh she was she, she might have been small in size, but she was a great mother to make sure we, she uh, kept us provided for, you know. She, she uh, did what it took to raise us up, you know. Everything legally and honestly and, and fairly and greatly, she did it, you know, and, and raised us up. I'm very proud of and very thankful that uh, to have had her for a mother, you know. Because a lot of times, you know, you see things these days, uh, not in our family, but in other families, you can see uh, children going lacking a lot, guys. Because a lot of parents are out there trying to find their way, and they need to be at home raising their, raising their family from day to day, you know. But anyway, <laughs> ah, that's another story. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm. I think I'll. I think I'll walk back around the front and get that other. Yeah, I'll walk around the front and get that other plant. That other uh, blueberry bush. I, I'll walk around a little bit to show you guys what I did this morning already. Show you guys. Cause I'm I'm a, I'm a big YouTube watcher as well, guys, and uh, and and I like it when when YouTubers kind of uh, be in detail, go into detail about what they're doing and you know and, and and what they're you know what they're doing, especially when I when I like the YouTuber, I like uh, seeing more of what they what they're doing, you guys. But anyway, 
Uh, I don't know if black is the best way, but <laughs> this cold weather we got coming, black may not be so too too bad to keep back. Maybe too bad to keep it back. <laughs> anyway, uh, as you can see, got these. These are three citrus trees here. One, two, three. Three citrus trees, guys. That uh, I came out earlier and put the bags around them, tied them around them, because I, I just had them sitting on them on the, fr the first day of the freeze. Kind of had just had it sitting on them, and that didn't work too well. <laughs> ah, I had bags across the yard. <laughs> that's a fig tree over there. Guys, that's the fig tree there. And uh, two of them. That other small one over there is one, too. But uh, anyway, I'll probably walk back by them on my way to the front yard. But, but anyway, I don't, I don't necessarily think that I needed to co cover this pecan tree. Look at that bird, look at that big, a bee that might be a big hawk or something up there. Can y'all see it? Wow, maybe it'll come back around. Just kind of cruising up there. Maybe it'll come back, circle back around, because it looked like it might have been flying abo above those woods over there, uh, forest, as, as uh, you call it in Africa. It uh, was flying around real, kind of cruising real slow, like it's looking down below to catch something. Maybe. Trying to look, trying to find it some food, I guess. But anyway, I don't exactly know what tree this is here, but, uh, some kind of berry tree or something, I imagine. Then that's a mulberry bush or tree over there that's growing. And this is a, pecan, a uh, pear tree. Guys, if you know something that can be done to pear trees to make them to de develop better, because as you can see, there's a few, few left on here. And uh, let me zoom in. Papa G know how to zoom now, y'all. See that? They, they, they like, uh, I used to, I, I, I've said before that they look kind of like China, China berries. If any of you guys are from the country or whatever and used to make China berry, uh, guns <laughs> with, with, uh, a hose pipe and a mopped stick. So you can shoot, stick it up through there and it'll pop, pop, pop. <laughs> ah, boy, you make them good enough, boy, and they smoke. They smoke when you shoot them. <laughs> but anyway, if it's anything you guys know that can be done to this pear tree, it developed, it, it, it grew nice past the first few years, first couple of years. Uh, I can remember we were here, which was 20 some odd years ago. But uh, since then, they just started making those little China berry like uh, pears. And it's very disappointing guys, having this big tree out here and it's not, not uh, functioning the way it should. Just don't like that. But anyway, I keep hoping and, and, and uh, doing things to it. I, as you can see, I put mulch down at, around the, the bottom of it out where the the, lead, the limbs reach I put mulch under, under it and uh with the hopes that uh it would uh start developing and I can see something's been out here digging I believe there's been, something been out here digging the worms I believe you can see those holes see those holes yeah you, you guys know what that might that might be let me know put it in the comments what what might be digging in in mulch to 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 get worms or whatever i believe they're trying to get worms under there but uh anyway <laughs> uh, papa g don't like it because papa g couples garden so he can keep the worms thriving and and providing casting for uh, to uh, grow more food, as you guys can see. 
I don't know if, I don't think pecan trees need to be covered from the frost, I don't think, but anyway, I got it covered anyway. Got it covered out of, out of, out of an abundance of, of caution, as they say. <laughs> Look at that big cat over there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Going through those bushes over there. You might, he was even moving, it was moving like, like you might have saw a, 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 a rat or something. But anyway, I don't feed them guys. They, 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 some of the neighbors' cats or whatever. And, uh, but I don't feed them. Let them, let them catch rats. <laughs> That's all right. This is kind of a sanctuary. I hadn't seen any turtles lately, guys. Uh, I hadn't seen any turtles. I believe the turtle stays out of the cold weather, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think turtles are, are pretty... Uh, this is my, my grandson was out here there, was out here this morning. He said, Papa, uh, can that, can we can we go outside? And so so I, I thought about, hey, you know, as you know, Papa G likes to uh, kill more than one bird with one stone. Like to line them up and, and, and get them all, guys, with one stone. So uh he wanted to come out here and play. And so I told him, I said, uh, you just stay where I can see you. And uh, he wanted to come over here on the swing, so he was over here on the swing. And uh, I see he brought, left one of his shovels out here that he was playing with. <laughs> ah, I put it up. <laughs> but yeah, guys, hey, Papa G, taking care of the bird, taking care of more than one bird with one stone. That's the way Papa G does it, guys. These, that's that fig tree, that bigger one. And this is a smaller one. I stuck it down in the ground over here and uh, stuck it over here and, uh, and it came up. It started to grow. I thought it was a, it was a plum, uh, it was a plum uh, seed, plum plant, plum plant that we had gotten from Fasio's. That's that name of that place, guys. Fasio's, a nursery where uh, Granny D and Papa G usually go to get plants and, and, and things. And so, but anyway, I thought it was a, a plum tree. I had it planted right over here somewhere. Can you see where the hole was now? The grass is growing back over. But, uh, but yeah, but it, 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 it started developing. And Granny D said, that looked like fig. Looks like fig leaves. <laughs> see, she grew up around a fig tree. Her, 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 her mama has uh, fig trees, has fig trees that uh, Granny D goes over there from time to time and help uh, her mom uh, pick the figs. Her name is Yvonne. My, grand, my mother in law's name is Yvonne. And, uh, so it, Yvonne? Uh, Mother-in-law, if you sit, happen to see this video, <laughs> Papa G's over here mentioning that you had, you have fig trees, a fig tree. But anyway, <laughs> how you doing if you see this video? <sighs> That's what Granny D's on her way over there too. It's over her way, on her way over there now to take some food. But anyway. I'm going to uh, go inside and get one more bag. Those are some flowers that I recovered over there that Granny D wanted would, would, wanted to have covered. But anyway, that, that's okay. I see some, I, ain't, I don't have to go get a plastic bag. I see some, uh, I see some over there that I can go get and bring them over here and cover this this uh, last plum bush, a, a tree or whatever you want to call it. Get that covered. Let's cover it. Get it covered, guys. Yeah, let's 
you need cover. Like the rest of these here. You need cover. Out of an abundance of caution? No, like hell, you can have uh, palm trees in, uh, in Alabama. I don't think they cover. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they did during the winter. I don't know. I was always over there. We was always there in the summer. We was always there in the summer. But uh, maybe they used to cover them in the winter. I don't know. But they were bigger though. And so we're going to get this one covered. It's small. We're going to get it covered, guys. Let's see. This may. I don't know. This may. Uh, this may uh, keep it wrapped anyway overnight. May keep it wrapped real tight. Yeah. I'm gonna see the rest of the day. <laughs> if this would be a nice uh, uh, enough, or if I have to cover it or tie it up or whatever. Anyway, guys. Uh, I mean, that'll do it for today. <clears throat> this, this video has gone on, wow, 37 minutes, okay? And so, but anyway, glad you guys stopped by to listen in while Papa G uh, did some of his work. Like I said, I, I, I enjoy having you guys along with me because it, it helps me to uh, maybe do more than I would do. You know, know having you guys along with me, it, it, you know, it makes it makes it easier. It makes it, as you know, Papa G likes to kill, like I said, more than one bird with one stone, uh, or take out more than one with one stone. <laughs> uh, try to keep from, uh, from uh, saying that K-I-L-L word too much on YouTube. But anyway, guys, here we go. We got it done. We are protected from the frost that's coming. And so I'm glad you guys stopped by to, to, to watch and play again with Papa G today. Anyway, outro. When I was a schoolboy coming home from school, I thought I saw more raining around the hills and mountains. Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollering around the merry streets. With a rang tang tang and a ting 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 and a groon away, a bow wow wow and a moo 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 and a heap folk people that I do know. And through the way we'd run play ball, and through the way we would run.